Hey everybody, welcome back to Sam Can Do. My name is Sam, I'm a mom, I'm a maker, and I'm a Glowforge enthusiast, and today we're having a vent sesh. Harvey. Everybody's venting, I think, today. It's Monday, what can I say? Well, for you, it's not Monday. It might be Monday. Hello from the future. Hello from the past. Um, anyway, today we're gonna have a vent sesh. Apparently, a lot of people have questions about how do I vent my Glowforge, how do Glowforge vents work, where can I put my Glowforge, can it go in my house, does it have to be in a garage? Well, I'm here to answer some questions on how you should vent your Glowforge. I'm gonna share three popular ways, but the fourth way is going to be how I, after many, many, many um, hours of research for this project, I'm gonna show you how I choose to vent my Glowforge. So way number one um, is you can actually purchase um, online, either on Amazon or uh, you know at a hardware store, basically a vent for a window that is made for those kind of portable AC units. Um, so it'll sit with any different type of window. You just kind of look for what kind of size window you have, what, what closure type window you have, and they have um, those. They also have like dryer vent um, vents that you can put in a in a wall, I guess, or in a window. Um, you can use them, you know, I, with this the same hose, as long as it matches the hose. The big thing that you need to know is if you buy something that was meant for like a dryer vent, those aren't always meant to close. You need something that is going to fully close because you don't want humidity, critters, junk coming back up into your tube and possibly getting that humidity inside of your machine. You wanna make sure that you're able to close it when you're not using it. Which brings me to option number two. You could build your own. I feel like it's a really great option and because of the amazing community on Glowforge, you can find other people's plans that they've shared so graciously. Um, this is one of my favorites that I've seen. I believe his name was like, Torg or something weird. I'll put it right here um, and I'll put the link down below. He was been so amazing to share the design that he made with an open and closing slot that you can use to vent your Glowforge through a window, something like that. But not all of you want to have your Glowforge right next to a window. Some of you want to have it right in the middle of the room. If you remember the ad that first came out, I think it's like in the middle of a kitchen, which I don't even know if they had the air filter then. I think they had one that sat on top. I don't know. But uh, Basically, you can buy an air filter and put it anywhere you want. And I'm so lucky that I live right down the street from an amazing shop called Twisted Air Goods, and I took us there so we could see how that works. Um, so I um, am in my friend Clayton's shop, Twisted Arrow Goods, which is also amazing. You should, I'll put information down below, but he has, this is the Pro, right? Or the Plus? Pro. Pro, so he has a Pro, is better than mine, and I'm really sad and jealous because I really want one, but I bought the basic on Kickstarter, so what can you do? I know I will upgrade eventually, but anyway, he has it set up here and I wanted to bring y'all to see his because it's in the middle of the shop, which I think a bunch of people are concerned like, oh, well, how would I do that with the venting situation? And he has the air filter and you can kind of see how much room it takes, where it is. And that's it, simple as that. You want to show like a decibel reader next to it? Okay, Clayton has a decibel reader on there so we can actually accurately communicate how loud this is. I would say it's quieter than a hair dryer and a vacuum. Yeah. yeah, so I'm talking and it's not like being overpowered by this. He's getting the decibel reader. Okay. So, over here, I mean, we're right next to it. Around 70. So you can see here, this is like your loudness meter, and we're sitting about halfway. But we are also literally right on the machine. So, so if you were standing up, like I, I we're over up, here by the Glowforge over here. It's so quiet. It's quieter than the Glowforge itself, in my opinion. Sitting around 60, 63. Um, so not too bad. I feel like it's it's quieter than what I expected it to be, but. So I'm really grateful that Clayton showed us around his shop. I didn't expect this video to have so much scientific, uh, you know, information, data gathering. Data gathering, data gathering. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so that is definitely an option. You know, Glowforge sell sells those air filters, but you don't have to do it. One thing, I'll, I'll kind of keep that towards the end, but 
you know, short video. I wanna show you how today, I'm gonna to make a little project, a really cool little project from some cool designs I got off of Creative Market. And I'm gonna show you how I, Sam Hernandez, Glowforge enthusiast, um, wonderful Glowforge influencer on the YouTube, on TikTok, how I vent my Glowforge. Come on, let me bring you in closer. Okay, I had to make it a little bit darker, but I wanted you to see that this is how I, I uh, I'm gonna show you how I set up a really complicated situation for me to vent uh, my Glowforge. This is what I do every day. You know, you wanna close a little bit so only a certain amount of bugs. And then if you find some like, you know, here's a, a blazer, you just kind of block all that extra space. And it's easy as that. Okay, so I know I'm being kind of silly, but I do want to say something is that when you're trying to build a business from like making things or selling things, um, that's one thing versus someone who just has the money and this is a hobby. I would suggest making what you have that's free work for you so you can focus on buying materials or things that you need that are going to make you money. The air filter, all the specialty stuff, that's going to be nice, but it's just enhancing your experience. So if you want it to be extra quiet, you know, or if you want it to be this slick, you know, sleek looking thing. I think you can make something for really cheap. I think you can buy something really cheap. But at the end of the day, don't let this, you know, venting thing kind of stop you. Like, oh, what am I gonna do? You can throw that out the window. I pull it back in when I'm done and it's really not that inconvenient for me. I've been doing that for literally years. So that's a whole situation about venting. It's as simple as actually can be. Don't overcomplicate it. And I hope that y'all have fun.